Hey guys, so I just wanted to give you an update on the tank. Um, Joey's just finishing up uh, cutting off some of the plastic that we just wrapped the tank with. Um, so basically what the video we did before was Joey showing how we ran the glycol hoses that will run from the Comfort Hot um, expansion tank inside for our Rixon um, or S-Bar 5 hydronic heater. Um, so this is our gray water tank and we wrapped it in um, foam board insulation. That way if we're in somewhere cold, the tank doesn't freeze. And that's the other reason why we ran the glycol hoses here to keep that tank warm as well. So we got away with having to install a, an electric heater pad to heat the gray water tank. We wanted to conserve our energy as much as possible and we were also running the hoses for that glycol up to the front where we have our blower fan um, for our S-Bar heater underneath the passenger seat. So this is just kind of a finish up of the, we have a 28 gallon gray water tank, right Joey? Yeah, 28 gallon. Our 28 gallon um, um, gray yeah. water tank here. So we just finished up, uh, we wrapped it in this plastic wrap that we got, originally got it for to protect like the floor and the um, plastic panels and stuff works awesome um i can look up my amazon account and show you what exactly what it was if you're interested but um but basically it's plastic that you put down on like a, a carpet floor or whatever after you've got them clean and you don't want people walking on them if you're doing construction um that sort of stuff i think they also use this plastic to wrap up like suitcases or anything that plastic wrap means you wrap super sticky stuff but it's really durable so we wrapped um the tank in that to keep the insulation on there hold the hoses in there really well and then um now joey as you can see he's using this flashing it's I think we got in the duck section at Lowe's um, basically our tank is about four feet long and that duct was about four feet so he's going to use that as kind of a, a case for the tank um, and then he's going to use uh, you want to grab that piece of metal which one? one oh yeah here? then we're going to use this to basically yeah. add underneath we're making and our own just make hangers we make hangers off. I'm gonna have to cut some of this stuff out, I think, for space, or actually maybe not just for, for strength, but um, yeah. So we'll use those to pretty much um, install that onto the bottom of the van. So pretty nice tanks. Um, this, we got this one custom made for the van. I think it was close to $400, right, Joey? Yeah. And where did you get the tank? I got it from a company in California. I think it's called ustanks.com. This is actually a, a drinking water tank but we're gonna use it for gray water because you can use it for gray water. It's super durable. Uh, one other option online I saw is people welding tanks, um, which you can do it if you have the time, you can do it. But this one, I, this one got shipped basically with nothing on the outside except for protection of the inlets. So if it made it through the UPS shipping like that is pretty sturdy, you can actually sit on it. So I'm thinking if something hits the bottom of this, it's gonna take a lot. It's gonna have to dent the insulation. First, it's gonna hit the metal and then that. So it's gonna create a good barrier between the road and that. If you if you weld them, they don't look as strong. I don't know. I, I didn't do that, but just a thought. Maybe it might be slightly less expensive to get through the welding side. But where'd you get the tank again? U.S. Tanks. I think uh, it's U.S.Tanks.com. Just go, just Google. Yeah, they were pretty easy to work with, correct? Yeah, very awesome. Very cool. They send you a, a template and you just forward it and kind of work back and forth and t have a discussion around the inlets. This inlet was actually done here at, here at home. You have to connect it from the inside, but. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. We have an access at the top. I actually wrapped it in plastic because I won't need to get in here unless I ever have to clean it, which I probably at some point will. Um, hopefully, uh, we don't have any leaks. But anyways, um, yeah. so this is kind of just a recap of how we're installing the um, glycol uh, hoses to keep our uh, gray water tank warm if we're in uh, freezing temperatures. Um, again, so we don't have to use our energy, our solar energy to heat um, electric heat pads. We're doing this instead. So good idea, good idea, cause we have to run the glycol hose up to the front of the van anyways for the uh, blower fan. So or if you guys have questions, if you guys have questions at all, um, feel free to ask. Uh, we can try to answer them as best as we can. So we'll give you another update once we have it mounted and hopefully when we get the Rickson up and going. So thanks for watching, bye.